Om Swastiastu. Namun Sabkepti Lokal Bali, menuju Bali era baru. Hi everyone, I'm Sri Mahayuni. Today, we are going to learn about personal and possessive pronoun. But first, we need to know what a pronoun is. Pronoun is a word that takes place for a noun. Let's start for personal pronoun. Personal pronoun can be divided into two categories. They are subject and object pronouns. Subject pronouns frequently come at the beginning of a sentence. They are doers. They do something. Subject pronouns include I, we, you, he, she, it, they. It is also important to remember that the use of personal and possessive pronoun depending on number, whether it is singular or plural, person, whether it is first person, second person, or third person. And the last is gender, whether it is male, female, or neuter. For instance, the girl sings beautifully. The word girl is the subject of the sentence. It is third person, singular, and female. So, a proper pronoun for word girl is she. And it will be, she sings beautifully. Object pronouns frequently come at the end of a sentence. They are receiver because they receive something. Those words are me, you, us, him, her, it, and them. For example, Mary invited Dave. Dave would be the noun who received the action. It is an object. So the sentence will be Mary invited him. Now let's move on to possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns are words used to indicate that something belongs to someone. Some possessive pronouns are used dependently, sometimes called possessive adjective, such as my, our, your, his, her, its, their. To make it clear, let's see the examples. I clean my house. Her shoes were old and worn. The rule of possessive adjectives is that they are used to show ownership between a person and the noun that follows. Other possessive pronouns are used independently like mine, ours, yours, his, hers, its, and theirs. That is, they do not appear alongside a noun. That pen is my pen, not your pen. To avoid repeating the noun, we use possessive pronouns and the sentence will be the pen is mine, not yours. This is much better. So we are using possessive pronoun mine for replacing my pen and yours for replacing your pen. To make it clear, let's see the table below. Important, there is no possessive pronoun for the third person singular and neuter. So what can we do? First, we can use the possessive adjectives its plus noun. For example, my tail is short but its tail is long. Or second, we use apostrophe with the owner plus noun. Example, my tail is short but the cat's tail is long. Alright. What do you think? Did you get the idea? Good! It was really fun to share with you and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you next time! Om Santi 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 Om